hello to all of you cute Hufflepuffs, Gryffindors, Slytherins, and Ravenclaws. I am here to show you the new Cherry Wallace box that I just received, the Curation of Magical Curiosities. I'm so excited to open it. Let's see what's inside. So unfortunately, these are no longer available. These were available for pre-order back in June. And now she just came out with a new Christmas box that you can pre-order. So I just ordered that, but I have not seen any spoilers for this one. So I'm so excited to see what's inside. Let's open it up. I love how it is packaged too. I like the font on here and everything. It says charmed with care. Oh my gosh, cute. I already love that there's a personalized letter here. And the tissue paper is so beautiful with the keys and the lightning bolts. Here is the letter. Let me read it to you. Okay, it says, I hope this letter finds you well and that the owl that delivered it arrived safely. I also hope that this box didn't end up in the wrong hands as I will likely get into trouble for exposing our kind to the muggle world. That's so cute. If you're reading this, I wanted to say a big thank you for all of your support with the curation of Magical Curiosities, Always Cherry. P.S. By the way, the bird bites. So cute. I love watching Cherry Wallace's videos on YouTube. That is so fun. Okay. I can't wait to see what's in here. Oh, cute. I see herbology, something to do with herbology. So I love that as a Hufflepuff. Let's see what's in it. Very cute. It looks like the greenhouse this box. Let's see. It looks like a, a Mimbulus Mimbletonia. It is. Oh my gosh, so cute. Neville would be so proud. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Definitely putting this on my desk at school in my classroom. That is precious. And I want to keep the box too. Let's see what the next thing is. The next thing is wrapped up in this little package. Oh my gosh, I'm guessing that this is a sorcerer's stone because it looks like the grubby little package that Hagrid picked up from vault number, what is it? 713, right? Oh my gosh, how cute that it's packaged like this. I really hope that's what this is. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it is. <gasps> That's so cool. Look at the shape of it. It's kind of see-through. Cute. Another item for my classroom. I love that I can just bring everything to my Harry Potter classroom that I don't have room for in my house. This would also just be cute in my bedroom or just somewhere on a little shelf somewhere. Very cute. What's the next thing? I love all the, all the packaging on this. Memory vial. And then on the back it says, this exquisitely crafted vial bottle will hold your closest memories for many years to come. So is it like the vial that Snape used to give Harry his memories or just vials that are in Dumbledore's office. Yes. Cool. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe stickers that you can put around it to decorate it. Oh, very cool. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I guess you can decorate it with these maybe. That is really pretty. This is such a great box. What else is there? So many goodies. All right, the next thing. Oh my gosh, I love when there's pins and things. Oh, it says the Yule Ball, and it's got bottles with the snowflakes on them from the Yule Ball, and they're like pumpkin juice bottles. That is precious. That is so cute, and it's my favorite three colors. Blue, pink, and yellow. Oh, tea. Time turning tea. It's white tea with coconut chips, sweet blackberry leaves, rose petals, cornflower petals, marigold petals, sunflower petals. How cute. It's passion fruit infused. And 
that's the packaging. I love tea. What's next? An envelope with the Hogwarts stamp. It's like, I'm not sure what that symbol is supposed to be. Can you see that? It's kind of like a Deathly Hallows symbol. Let's open it. Is it a Hogwarts letter? Ooh, what is this? Potions, recipes? Oh, it's like a copy from advanced potion making book. Ooh. It's talking about how to make different things. Yeah, it's like an excerpt from Snape's book. And you can see where he's crossed off different things. Very cool. Oh, he crossed off here and wrote, one lily is not comparable to another. Oh, interesting, because he's comparing it with Lily Evans. And that's his favorite Lily. Very interesting. This will be cool to frame or just to display somewhere and leave it open. And by the way, the quality is so nice. This is a thick paper, so this will last. That's very cool. I think there's one more thing. Oh no. Oh my gosh, there's a mandrake. This is like my Hufflepuff dream box. Oh my gosh. I don't think that I selected that I was a Hufflepuff. It just happened to be kind of Hufflepuff herbology items. Look at the mandrake. This is for sure getting framed. Oh my gosh, this is on really nice paper. That's beautiful. Cute little mandrake. Oh my gosh, what is this? writing, talking all about the, oh, I get it now. Okay, so each item is from a different book. So the Sorcerer's Stone was from year one, and it talks all about it, and it talks about why she chose it. All right, so I'll read it to you. Year one, the Philosopher's Stone. I've always had a fondness for Harry's first year at Hogwarts, mostly because it's where we were first introduced to the wizarding world. If we had never picked up the first book, I think our lives would feel a lot less magical and you would likely not be reading this right now. So true. I felt like there was no other choice but to include a Philosopher's Stone to represent Harry's first year at Hogwarts, wrapped in brown paper and twine, just like how it looked when Hagrid removed it from the vault in Gringotts. Yes, that was adorable. Here's another airplane. You are now the owner of your very own Philosopher's Stone. Keep it safe, use it wisely, and keep it out of muggle hands. Year two was the mandrake artwork that I just showed you. And it says, repotting young mandrakes in herbology class with Professor Pomona Sprout was one of my favorite scenes in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Why? I think it's because if I was at Hogwarts, the greenhouses were where I'd spend most of my time. I've always had a fascination with mandrake plants. I like that the roots' shapes resemble humans. I like that they scream when they're being replanted and that you need to wear earmuffs. I painted this with watercolor paint and I feel like I should name him dot dot dot. And she didn't write anything. She painted this herself? Cherry, that's so cute. Wow, I'm very impressed. I love all of the scenes with the mandrakes in the book and I love how they talk about, oh, they're getting acne and they're almost fully grown. So, so cute. And year three was the time turning tea, which makes sense. And she wrote, if you've watched any of my videos on these muggle devices, you'll know I'm rarely seen without wearing my time turner from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I also love tea. Fruit flowers are my favorite, so I hope you enjoy this one. Yes, I also am almost always wearing my time turner necklace, but today I'm wearing my engraved letter necklace that I got from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London, which I actually heard about from Cherry's video originally. So thank you, Cherry, because I knew to get this engraved. And year four, obviously, is the beautiful Yule Ball pin. Let's see what Cherry wrote about it. She said, would you enter your name into the Goblet of Fire? I'm not sure that I would, but I definitely attend the Yule Ball. Same girl. The dresses and dress robes, the music, the food and drink, and let's not forget the decorations. You knew I'd sneak in an enamel pin into this box, didn't you? This pin was designed by Amelia-B23. So go look her up. And myself, she makes wonderful magical pins. So Cherry helped her 
design this or vice versa she helped cherry design this that is my favorite thing in the box i think then no, year five is the mimbulus mibletonia that was inside of here super cute when neville brings that out okay year five mimbulus mimbletonia don't worry this mimbulus mimbletonia won't cover you in stink sap Neville Longbottom received one of these interesting plants as a gift in the summer of 1995. We first see the Mimbulus Mimbletonia plant in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Did you know the plant in the film was soft and spongy with an animatronic robot inside to make it move? I can confirm this as I've been lucky to able to hold it myself. That's really cool. She must have done that at the studio tour. Lucky girl. Very, very cute. Okay, year six was the beautiful Rot of Living Death potion recipe that we saw on the paper here with Snape's notes. And she said, you may know by now that one of my favorite books from Hogwarts is Advanced Potion Making. I wanted to share this potion recipe with you. Otherwise, how are you going to win a vial of Felix Felicis from Professor Slughorn? This was designed by Alarm18, who made one of my favorite limited edition books. This page has come directly from the hundreds of magical pages he designed for his version of advanced potion making, so keep it safe and away from muggle eyes. That's cool. So I guess you can buy the full book of it with notes from Snape in there. I would love to get that. And year seven is, of course, the memory vial here. And it says, imagine being able to bottle your most treasured memory. It's one concept from the wizarding world that I wish was real. This item was inspired by Harry collecting Professor Severus Snape's tears. That's exactly what I thought of when I opened it. I wanted to create a product where you could sh save your own memories and label it yourself. What memory would you save? I'd love to know. Oh, that's cute. So I guess you can write on here what your memory is and then label it. Oh, I'd have to think about what I would want to put in there. So many good memories. I love saving memories and I'm very nostalgic. I think that's why I like taking so many photos and sharing them so that I can look back on them and remember happy times. Also, I just realized you can open this and I guess you can roll up your memory and put it inside of the vial. So I guess there's different ways that you can display this. So I also really love the way that this is written. It looks like it's her actual handwriting and it has the look of being at Hogwarts and it looks like she just wrote it with a quill or something. Same with the note here from the beginning, the welcome note. So this was a really, really cool box. I like how it was set up with one item from each year and I think that she picked great items. I love watching her on YouTube. She's so much fun. I can't even pick a favorite. I really like the pin, but everything is so unique. Like the Mimbulus Mimbletonia. This looks like it's straight from Hogwarts. So does the stone. The picture's beautiful. I love that she drew it. I just love it all. And I can't wait to try the tea, but I obviously have to keep the packaging. And I really love this because Half-Blood Prince is my favorite, favorite book. And I love Snape. What was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And thank you for watching. If you missed out on this box from Cherry Wallace, make sure that you go get her new Christmas box that is available for pre-order. Okay, bye magical friends. Mischief managed. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good.